So hey guys and welcome to my channel. In today's video we are going something similar that I saw doing uh, the uh, uh, the channel after hours. I saw uh, like I have I'm just in the process of seeing here uh, what is the best BLs in 2022. I already know that some things we are going to have in common, some not. I am like in the principle of what she speaks about in the first part of her reaction video um, for 2022 boy loves I agree with her which is we won't speak about the ones series that I kind of did not like it's pointless we would argue about it and it's not the point uh, what I want to mention before we begin, I did reaction videos for uh, the second half of this year, but I'm not going to limit the reaction videos for only that, because I watched it in the first part of the year as well. So I am going to sum this whole package up. Uh, I'm going to omit Chinese series because of the obvious ban of boy love genre in that country. Uh, that, as far as I know, did not change a, a bit. And because I started to do reaction videos, I kind of did not have chance to watch Filipino series either. So it's kind of, uh, yes, I did not have the time and I did not f kind of heard about anything that is that good that I would have to watch it kind of situation as well I would not have the space and time for doing reaction videos for these two countries moreover but we are going to go deeper into these stuff and situations with this but uh, yeah I did not have the time nor were there any projects that would kind of suit my tastes that much so Chinese series and um, Filipino series with one exception only it's going to be omitted because for one exception only I did reaction videos you can get the access uh, on my channel for it so welcome in uh, like in this video welcome uh, here in this channel we are going to do the best boy love uh, series for 2022 wrap up or you know how, how did she... Uh, yeah, my my ranking boy love series of 2022. I'm not ra going to rank anything. I'm just going to speak about the series I believe has this... Um, you know, not... I don't... I'm not going to only speak about the series that I personally liked. I think about the series I'm going to mention they had the advantage and the, the chance to survive the time that they are going to be very you know beautiful even after a certain amount of time flies and they would still have what to say uh, to the audiences so I have prepared this list uh, there are very many and we are going to go through it very quickly because I'm just going to say it and you can ask whatever you want in the comment section below. So for me the first one from Japanese boy love genre um, series is definitely old fashioned cupcake because yeah the age difference as well both of them were adults as were the execution of certain situations and execution of certain scenes were so amazing and beautiful and the actors looked good but as well they like the chemistry between them worked so perfectly that the result of their waiting of their mutual like i'm not going to do anything more because and blah 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 it worked so perfectly in the end when it finally happened uh, the age gap, uh, I mean Minato Slaudermat for that reason alone would be one of the things that I would at least uh, highlight if it was not one of the bestest. For me it kind of was, but it was more, it is maybe more on a personal level. From the universal point of view, though it's kind of genre subjective, uh, I would probably have to speak about Mr. Ag uh, Unlucky, okay no. It's the same case as uh, Minato Slaudermat. So Mr. Unlucky has no choice but to kiss was kind of on the same level as Minato Slaudermat for me. 
uh, a man who defies the world of boy love. Uh, I already speak about this so uh, one time today in my reaction video, and this I loved. Uh, uh, I loved. Uh, uh, exaggeration of what they portrayed and showed us. So the hyperbole for me uh, was very successful in Men Who Defies the World of Boy Love. I loved it, uh, it on that. Takara Kun to Amagi Kun, the same level as, as uh, Minato Slodramont and uh, A Man Who Defies the World of Boy Love. And uh, the same well, level maybe as the old fashioned, uh, old fashioned, uh, old fashioned, old fashioned cupcake. War is cherry magic. Mm. And eternal love of yesterday is somewhere. It's like like old fashioned cupcake and cherry magic. And here is eternal uh, yesterday, and here is the uh, laundromat, the um, a man who defies the uh, world of boy love. The, uh, Mr. Unlucky has no choice but to kiss the Katakrakun and Armagi Kun. I can see here some. Uh, names that uh, either I did not see, which is kind of wonder, because I tried to pay attention to uh, what's going on. And in Boy Love World, so I am surprised that I still see something that is that I did not watch. Interesting. Uh, Cherry Magic is kind of, I am more uh, than anything speaking about the series, I did not see the movie, I think. Uh, candy core paradox I want I, I think I'm going to put it somewhere where is either the eternal yesterday but more likely I'm going to put it somewhere where is Minato's low drama otherwise I, I either did not see it or it isn't finished airing so I'm not going to speak about these things so that would be for Japan so for me what actually actually stands out and is a even possible to take it seriously is the old fashioned cupcake. Now here we are, we are in Korea. South Korea boy love genre. Mm. Okay, surprisingly enough, I don't have here enough. Wait a second. Okay, okay, here it is. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Fine. So. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, wait a second. I'm just going to check out if it is what I think it is. Which means if I'm going to here um Basically, for me, what stands out uh, from Korean boy love genre uh, series is semantic error, which is kind of on the first place. Roommates of uh, Pong Duck uh, 304, uh, for mainly because it's uh, both employee subgenre or theme or, you know, uh, and um, job. And second um, reason for it is actually the chemistry be between the actors. That is just undiscutable. Uh, as standalone for me works probably semantic error the best. Choco milkshake is uh, on the third, or it's not kind of you know it's not in order, but uh, the third place as well belongs to choco milkshake. 
uh, but then again it was as well mostly I don't have enough space in between my my decision making and it finished airing but choco milkshake as well works brilliantly on the terms of uh, chemistry between the actors and between the characters so that is dead but I mean um, the, the, the story the, like or the story itself is kind of a little bit weird that being said the, the execution of the series is m way better than is m probably the story itself so semantic error uh, error for roommates of pong duck and uh, choco milkshake are definitely the f one of the three first ones then love in spring was on one hand very disappointing on second hand it was very inspiring i would love to see love in spring done into actual boy love genre which means the two guys are going to end up together uh, shout out belongs to cherry blossoms after winter for me and I really thought that I saw Blooming, but I will have to rewatch it and say if I really did watch it. Oh, my assistant is kind of this type of trope that we love to read about. I am not sure about the, the project itself, if it was that amazing. I liked it definitely. But yeah, it was not without, um, you know, without conditions in that. The director who buys me dinner and the new employee are in disadvantage because it's kind of airing currently but for me i believe that the new employee has significant chance to be to be somewhere on the on the ladder of my preferences where is currently the semantic error or roommates of pong duck choco milkshake if you do wonder i love new employee more than i do love director who buys me dinner but I kind of get it, I don't, do not understand the series, the director who buys me dinner on 100% because I did not read it. So that is dead. Other titles? Happy ending romance. Uh, it was too difficult for me. Ocean likes me, I would really love to add it to this list, but uh, it was too difficult for me. <laughs> Or too cold blooded, maybe. I don't know. There was something. I liked Color Color Rush too. I felt too disappointed though that the initial of her, uh, two actors did not portray this, this, the characters in the second round, in the second season. So I loved Color Rush and. It's not on my list currently. It was good. It was definitely not a bad series. Um, the other ones, I am either uncertain what they were about. Like what of the stories I do remember does these names belong to. So it's kind of for me why I don't add it to the list of what I love the most. Semantic error, I do know this hype about this series till now. Roommates the same. Choco milkshake, it's yeah. It finished airing recently, so that is that. And you, the new employee I am absolutely into. The director who buys me dinner, I am still curious about how it is going to end. Mm. A happy ending romance was just not for me. Uh, yeah, and when I see it right now on my computer screen, I do realize why my friend said that she was not that much excited about Korean series this year. Though I have this exception with them because I so much love Korean series that are not boy love genre or that it work only on the terms of it being bromance. So I kind of forgive them for not giving us something so to be hyped about. I actually was hyped about certain Korean series, but they, they were either of a later date, which means like 2014, to be more specific, which is like truly amazing that series from 14 did something about me currently. Or it was like, you know, these fond memories of the Devil Judge, for example. Or, uh, so I'm, okay, or, um, or, 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 
or specific type of genres which is like uh, rom romance offices or boss employee category and it was not boy love and uh, yeah forced marriages uh, and obviously or not so obviously but uh, yeah Alchemy of Souls, the first season, I didn't start watching second season yet, if I am going to at all. And yeah, like older, older series from Korea, so I'm looking forward to the next series, because I believe we are going to be shown something that is going to be interesting, even for me as being into boy love genre. So I am keeping my hopes, at least, if not for the boy love subgenre of audiovisuals that at least for uh, for the bigger mainstream more or more mainstream projects from korea so that is that it would be korea then okay now i'm a little bit lost mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i did not have the beginning of it here interesting Okay, so uh, Taiwan series. I mean, uh, on each and every side, I can watch and judge and compare Boy Love, Boy Love uh, series. Kim Porto series just stands out. I like, yeah, okay, 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 so. The main needs chemistry between us. I will knock you the storytelling, the hyperbole or the, the exaggeration in the storytelling and the main leads that look amazing and beautiful and I love them together. Love in the air for the chemistry and for the work of the creators on the on the characters. Never let me go, which did not finish airing, so that is dead. Uh, my only 12% just yes stands out forever of of course yes 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 my school president i still have high expectations for i do not love it more than i will knock you mind you it's kind of a different i would say even like different area of interest my school president and i will knock you they, they are just different mm. oh my sunshine night it was not bad but we have to wait for everything for too long and the storytelling is kind of of the old type. Uh, remember me is so interesting and different, yeah. But the tempo of remember me is kind of kind of slow-ish, or the skips there are kind of forced. That it is so located into their like own stories. It's difficult actually to, uh, you know to say that uh, Remember Me is your favorite because it's so much like adult, like it's a topic that was kind of reworked by adults, so it's difficult to relate to. Restarted, I wanted to watch, but there were issues I remember with subtitles, so I kind of dropped it that one and was waiting for it. The Miracle of Teddy Bear was actually amazing, but it was maybe not a hype. It was amazing, at the same time it was not hyped. Hype to serve with love was interesting project. One of one of the best, definitely. Uh, but who, for me, who kind of who love these wow things, uh, the most amazing, um, apart from Kim Pocha series, was actually War of Why. All of the stories, mostly the first, probably the last one then the third one then probably the second one which was for me maybe the hardest to digest uh, as far as high pink thing goes i loved why you why me i loved catch me baby and i loved and uh, I, I still love till the world ends though it is not finished airing it just one episode remains till the world ends different storytelling beautiful amazing um adventures and uh, interesting type of uh, intimacy bed scenes 
and uh, overall the mood here they really are doing good thing in go keeping that mood which is very important for a series of that type then again what i don't see here is uh, the eclipse that i would definitely put on my favorite ones which is strange probably it's not left out but i can't see it currently on the list interesting or uh, maybe i rewrite something wait a second okay dear doctor i'm I yeah if dear doctor i'm coming for soul is t uh, this year's so this actually belongs in the list of my favorite ones for this year and i believe it is so catch me baby why you why me until the world ends for very different reasons as well like catch me baby Ned and james just no way we are not going to discuss it it is boy love and i love them there and i love them for that reason not only but as well for that reason mainly for the reason alone i'm so hyped about their future this year's projects so this is different on kind of on the same level of things the most hyping thing for me is skin for the series war of why uh as probably i will no love in the air would belong there then there is i will knock you till the world ends which i kind of belongs for different reasons there uh, like there and there uh, so i will knock you till the world ends between us uh, uh, my school president miracle of the river it's kind of stand alone somewhere different it stands somewhere differently uh kind of similar but in th th the miracle of teddy bear there is somewhere near there is as well i long night and and in falanrook and um, check out not check out wait a second um I know now. I'm. I don't have everything here. So wait a second, please. It would explain so many things. Yeah. Mhm. Mm I will have to find it first. A hey, hey. Okay. 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 Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm The tuxedo as well, Rainbow Lagoon. Mm. Mm, but still, I can't see everything about this one. Okay. <gasps> Much many more I am missing. Okay. So actually cutie pie belongs there love mechanics definitely belongs there 21 days theory is was very good for such a for such a length of series sky in your heart uh-huh belongs there gold hold gold house is what i wanted to mention definitely of course unforgotten night is what i wanted to mention and i got stuck on check out so I would say, probably, Unforgotten Night, check out, and, uh, okay, Unforgotten Night, check out, Fanlan Rook, are kind of on the same level in where I would put them from Thailand series. So if we go uh, once again, so in, in Portuguese series, what of why, um, okay. I'm going to limit this thing because it would go out of hand. What I was or am currently most hyped about? Catch me, baby. Why you why me? What of in no order? Okay. Uh, what of why? Wait a second. Once again. Catch me, baby. Why you why me? Till the world ends. What of why? My only twelve percent. Love in the air. I will knock you, knock you, Kim Porsche. My school president between us dear doctor i am coming for soul probably i long nigh uh, never let me go which is not finished airing 
are restarted. I didn't finish watching actually. Remember me belongs there. But I'm not that much hyped about it, so maybe I should leave that one out. Uh Kung Kai to serve with love, probably. Okay, then The tuxedo, I kind of liked it because it was a brilliant time for uh, there was nothing actually uh, to watch at the time, so tuxedo kind of stood out. A big dragon, which I would kind of curiously enough, it was like much better production quality of this project, but I would uh, sort it somewhere where it's check out Fun Lan Rook and. Um, and 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 unforgotten night so kind of this it's a little bit higher because of the qu uh, quality of production which is maybe even unfair but let's forget about this thing for now mm. start in my mind sky in your heart i am and was not as much as uh, fish upon the sky but still because it's kind of the level i would again connect these two um, parts of the series with this one from the previous year so we are not going to mention it now okay okay mm, uh, definitely uh, but big dragon okay it was it was it belongs kind of there for mainly character uh, the main leads chemistry and for the last episodes secret crush on you definitely is uh, Enchante was not bad. My secret love, my secret love. <sighs> I am not sure which one was that one, but secret crush on you, cutie pie, and gold hold gold house like definitely is big hype. But even more, maybe even bigger is uh, love mechanics because the quality of love mechanics kind of uh, reveals if it is not the same as. In case of King Posh the series, my only love percent till the world ends and the world of why. Different type of stories, but the quality. Uh, my ride was the same case as um, Restarted, I believe. On Cloud9 was very uh, interesting project. Uh, Cutie Pie definitely, yes. What I do miss here, and I don't expect it to be here, and still it belongs here, is actually... Uh, is actually... Um, Ragdial. I can't speak enough how brilliant that series is. It's, it's sitcom. It should be longer, but, uh, like, again, the chemistry between the main leads and... Uh, yeah, I, I love that series. Please watch it and rewatch it again. Um, Two Moons the Ambassador, six, uh, 609, Bad Time Story. Two Moons, yes, it was kind of more cute than clever series. Uh, 609 is more clever series, uh, uh, but then again, it is not finished airing, so I can't speak about that one. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If I am omitting something, which I probably am, because Thailand series had so many projects this year, I am sorry for that. But the love mechanics from kind of start of this year, it definitely belongs here in this in this list. Okay, so uh, that would be for Thailand. For Vietnamese, strangely in love, and I go, don't get it. I don't know what the promise is or from what it is, but I did watch want to see you i watched Bella or i'm watching beloved and i am watching the star always follow you for want to see you i only watched for love bill and for the star always follow you i do reaction videos currently for i love these series i love the companies and i think really 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 highly about these vietnamese boy love series so please if you have the time and if uh, you know if you have the mind space for it watch it it's worth it i guarantee you that one I yeah, but it's yeah. If you noticed, I am very much biased in on this uh, in this respect. But I love it. One more thing for Korean boy love uh, series is Kissable Lips, which is the same actress as the roommates of uh, Pong Duck, uh, three o four. 
for their chemistry, but I think they much more shined in the roommate of Pong Duck. But for the chemistry or kissable lips and for the interesting storytelling, or not the storytelling, the story was interesting. So I would kind of put it there freely as well. Um, for the Thailand series, I do wonder where I can kind of dig out the remaining um, series that aired this year. But yeah, Ragdio I did not see on the list that uh, showed us uh, after hours. Uh, but it definitely is something that should be there and even highlighted because that project was so so amazing and it was done so brilliantly i really i am i am very like sad that it did not show and it usually does not show on the lists because it's more than boy love genre it's funny it's brilliant it's more than sit uh, sitcoms you know do watch it please i dig out now where is okay so the eclipse uh, the 180 degree of longitude passes through us uh, one exception there because it was not even happy ending it's yeah it belongs here definitely it's one of the int most interesting ones so for that reason vice versa you would probably expect i am much more excited about the, the actor's new project than for vice versa mm, because it's gmm tv vice versa as well as the eclipse triage all of them were brilliant because the company does know how to pull the strings and do interesting projects it was not so exceptional or it was not that much my taste so I would not on my personal list it was very well done and I can appreciate it but it's not my favorite personal one the same counts for triage it has its you no know, charm as well as vice versa for me vice versa triage is kind of the same uh, here and there I love the actors by the way all four of them of the main leads I do not love this project that much, so that is that. And the Eclipse definitely is. Yes. You are my sky, I did mention. Uh, Catch Me Baby was not on the list for some reason. Probably the one you are... Uh, the same reason why you are voting differently than I would in my uh, you know, questions. Uh, for the interesting aspect of 180 degrees of longitude passes through us, would I add it on my list? Because um, it was kind of personal, but I don't enjoy very much that it did not end. That they did not end it together. Uh, yeah, and I am adult here. Never mind. Uh, yeah, Thailand is kind of the most difficult for my, me because there are so many uh, projects, so much many important ones projects so many of them i would love to add and i have them categorized somehow in my mind but i am not inserting them into this should be easy overview of the basics so the biggest one can push the series what of why To serve with love, with I, with I have there are many problems with this series though. I will knock you, I don't have any problem at all with this series. I take it 100% and more. Uh, love in the air, Me, not that much of a storytelling for the first uh, half of this series, so that is dead. But then again, the chemistry and everything else worked perfectly and the second half of it was more story of uh, than the first one, so yeah. So the world ends so interesting as the eclipse uh, dystopian uh, topic all of these all of these two projects uh, every and each of them were done differently i appreciate that never let me go still airing belongs uh, definitely for me if i had to compare maybe never let me go is going to be more of a you know personal thing and favored one thing than the eclipse i don't know that one yet though because the eclipse was amazing in the aspect of the, the the main needs to serve with love yeah i did mention that thing um, otherwise the love mechanics is such a love 
beauty by together with secret crush on you such uh, you know this type of projects that works with things that are unprobable to happen in real life yet they go into it the creative team and they give it their 100 percent and then so i am here for this type of projects and it is a kind of personal but not love or personal topic or personal anything it's kind of more like uh king of mine that i enjoy these unprobable things about series and i don't want to drag it i i want and then now the question is did i forget about something of course i did forget about something one thing that i want to mention for 2022 is actually a laos series called all my four and it was such a brilliant, amazing series. I did watch it. I redubbed it, uh, and it was at the time I was watching it. It was without en without English subtitles for uh, every episode, with the exception of two of the uh, episodes. Um, every runtime is fourteen minutes. It says I don't even remember that thing, but. That was one thing that I watched from Laos ever. I love the chemistry be between the characters. The storytelling is probably not very exciting or very good. It's kind of of this typical uh, one-sided, very like flat plotline. Still, the, 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 the chemistry between the main boy love leads were, was pretty amazing and I wanted to understand it and I just couldn't so I redubbed it all and did a reaction video for them on this channel. Uh, that being said, it was interesting experience, definitely, and I would love to see more Laos series of boy love genre or sub-genre for that matter. Uh, another thing is actually about the filipino series i did mention this is the only filipino series that i started watching in 2022 and finished watching in 2023 it's the only thing that i watched from filipino this or last year and it's a small project so i can't even actually compare it to anything i would uh, do still add it to the summary of a summary of what i did watch it for 2022 because i think sometimes filipino has really interesting concept for stories that are not like other see like you can understand that this is filipino from how it is done and from certain other um you know science about the series when you watch it that can be said about laos series vietnamese series filipino series korean series thailand series uh, chinese series if they have these ones and specific in that is as well taiwanese series uh, what i actually wanted to dig into though and i did not yet you know i wanted to and i am aware of uh, the fact that i actually don't have a proper list of my favorite um you know of my favorite um boy love genre actors or couples i did not upload it it in my list of uh, you know my favorite actors so i might attempt doing it it's not even you know very much related to 2022 but it's still probably interesting for someone so wait a second mm. So I have here first uh, Gao for uh, the Eclipse, Louis Neo for their projects. I have here uh, Ofgan 
Oh wait a second, I will need it because I really dearly need to create this uh, this overview of who I love as couples in Thailand, at least in Thailand series. Uh, so of gun, obviously. I like I like Earth. I like Earth not only with mix. I like him as the actor for Water Boy and what he did with his like I mean obviously with New. Probably New does not like it that much because I think he's kind of more about doing heterosexual couples in series than he is about to do boy love uh, couples there. But whatever. I love White for doing supports, you know, roles. I love Om Nanon, obviously. Like this is yeah. I love Drake and whoever they kind of bury him with. I like, and I'm looking forward to Last Twilight. I like Jimmy and and C. I love from the more adult ones, Nut and Karn or Nut and Karn is that. Who else? Oh. Okay, Mile Apple. Like, who would not love a Mile Apple? And, like, obviously, that being said, if you love Mile and Apple, you need oh you know you it's it's kind of expected that you love build and build uh, build and bible so that is dead and as well like Jeff and Barco they are amazing together um i am so i would so love tong and tap because tangkun and macao should be together in, you know like my favorite favorite one from uh, the per people who do not wish to be that much uh, in the boy love stuff projects is obviously like perf i loved uh, the clips with perf and and boy um or what i'm talking about with lie and perf uh if for for my engineer from 2020, I did not enjoy that series though for some reason. Yeah, as a boy love cup um, genre, like couple, like ship, ship the ones, Kimon and Copter. I like them. Uh, of course, who else? Who else? Um, wait a second. Who else is the main, uh, you know, person who give their faces to boy love genre's characters? Om and Fluk. I love these two guys. From the new fire that I, that is kind of discovered for me this year, it's definitely Ned and James, and I'm very excited about their future projects. That being said, and if I mention it, Okay, wait a second. Uh, obviously, Billy and Sang, and you should know it from my fine made videos, right? Uh, Billy and Sang are one of the, uh, the ones as well. Um, who else? Or what, what? No, what was I trying to search? On Fook, and for, I did remember Ned and James, which would be. Catch me, baby, for example. Uh, then again, uh, Dangerous Romance. Um, which the actors are a Perf and uh, Shimon is dead. Uh, which reminds me, of course, of the actors of Cutie Pie. Uh, which for me, it's all of the three main boy love genre leads, which is... Uh, M Musy, it's Nutmax and or Max, and it's Jim and Tutor. 
Loved him. Um... Mm. If I want to do Korean, so room. Mm. So Kim and Yo, you, I, I don't know how to read it again. Never mind. Holland, I love Holland. Like Holland is just yeah. We need more of Holland. Uh, Radios extra. I think they were perfect together. Earth and Win. I, I'm just going to check out if they are going. No projects for 2023. At least no one, no one that would be written in. Mm, on my drama list, which is pity. Oh, win is only 21. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Vice versa, right? I did know, I didn't mention that one, but what I did not mention is from triage. If we take triage, it's referenced. Uh, yeah. If we were, were uh, take three ash, so you probably love uh, Tai or T and and T. Oh, tai and T. It's it. Oh. But who I loved with Tai is actually uh, Sing To, which means spent with uh, with love from 2021. So and if I say Sing To, I should probably mention. Mm -hmm. I should probably mention where are you Christ but Christ for me from what I have gained the information about him kind of controversial person to name in my favorite one couple so that is dead uh but let's say if you take every and each of the currently aired uh, projects, I long night between us, between us, born and prem, of course. Every and each of the person who participated in this year's project, uh, I loved the 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 ships, the couples that they created with these extras. So that would be my favorite ones. That would mean like main leads, but as well uh, the secondary main leads or. Uh, you know, se secondary couples actually, second like main couples, secondary couples, and first, second, third. It does not matter. I loved them all. I think what they did really did to make or worked on is actually their chemistry, and so they look good and work good together. So my Apple Bible build, Ned James, and so many more. So, yeah, I love all of them. They were, they are kind of created by the industry, I get it, but I still like them very much. Uh, what I did not mention initially, and I still should mention it, is a project that is kind of, according to me, in the middle somewhere, in terms of how good financially it was, uh, you know, donated. Uh, and the project, I know, I kind of loved the, the actors and how it ended, and the couples with these um, in this in this series that they created. It is the My Secret Love series, 2022, um, May till August. I loved that series. I love these actors. And I think, uh, despite the project might not be the best one or one of the best ones it still created such a beautiful uh, you know couples that could work on screen in the future uh, as well like Hank and surprise from uh, from the series secret crush on you but it as well reminded me of you I don't know how to read his name never mind uh, so the person the, the actor who uh, portrayed the character of Kamal 
and uh, and Unforgotten Night and Kim Don. Uh, these two characters worked perfectly together. But no, it was one more couple that strike my, you know, mind and that I remembered and I immediately forget that one. As well, like uh, honorary mention, forget the series. Like, there are many currently airing series that did not finish in 2022 that I could add to this list. But I can't because it's not finished airing. But yeah, friend Becky, like, who are we kidding, right? They are amazing together. So, Boone and Prem, and who else? There were one more at least. Ah, oh, it pains me. Would it strike my my memory right now? Of course, uh, and, but it's not, still not the ones that I re did remember, which is uh, Love Mechanics. Love Mechanics. Uh, I think very beautiful is uh, Yin and World Wing couple together, perfection. Uh, as well, the main leads from I Will Knock You. As well. Uh, Cupcakes, a couple that I did mention already when I referred to them. The, uh, the, um, you know, the actors who portrayed, but it's not, again, I repeat and stress what I am referring to. is just kind of what I did sum up from uh, the past uh, watching series. Uh, the couples that I do know of and about, they are working together, that they are doing projects together, that I kind of uh, get used to loving and I want to see their um, projects together. Could it be from some of the currently air that we are waiting for, for 2023? It's no cutie pie cast I did mention. Yeah, now I did realize who did I forget to mention and who definitely belongs in 2022, kind of. Uh, my favorite uh, couples in boy love genre, uh, that being said, like, actors who portray these characters together in the same project and it's boy love subgenre, which is Pond and Puwin. Yeah, they are amazing and I love them together as well. That being said, I'm going to cut out the rest of it and post it, so hooray! Currently air that we are waiting for, for 2023. It's no cutie pie cast I did mention. Uh, I really don't know. Maybe I'm going to add it in the comment section, that would be probably the best, so I will not drag this reaction. Alright, I'm going to stick it after the. I already did say my goodbye, so it's 22 more minutes. <laughs> Never mind. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Have a nice day. Take care for now. Bye bye.